if we're not, um, I'd really rather not make a complete idiot of myself. Okay. You're not making this easy for me, Ross. Well, I would if I knew what you were on now. Oh, would you call yourself a detective? Oh, I can. Well, um, I was just wondering um, how you'd feel if we maybe took things a step further. Um, or not. Ah, uh, things are going so well now. Yes, of course. Look, um, I've still a few things to do today. Uh, I'll, um, I'll call you when I'm done. that you've been down here all day. Is it going okay? Why wouldn't it be? What did you think? What, this was a test? Were you wanted to see if I was going to jump in the water and save you? I slept, remember. Jay, you could have been killed, mate. You don't know how deep that water was. You don't know whether there were rocks underneath. Well, look at me. I'm fine. I need a shower. Don't worry, I took that all over myself completely. He's uh, fine. He's not even shaking. Oh, gee, I think the poor little mite hasn't got enough to worry about. So, you've got no idea who it was? None at all. But with Oliver's picture in the paper, it could be anyone. No one got a description in. I had a quick look at him. But Gloria said that he was around my height. He was sort of well-built. He was wearing a baseball cap and running. Pretty much could be anyone then. Yeah, unfortunately. Of course, Oliver could fill in some of the blanks, but he's not really communicating. Well, uh, if you like, I'll have to try talking to him when I knock off here. That would be great. Thank you so much. Speaking of which, I better get cracking. Yeah, me too. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks a lot. Did it bring back memories? I thought <clears throat> my head was going to explode. It's like I was right back there again. When he fell off the pier when he was in the water. All my fears came rushing back. It's like I was frozen. The idea of... I don't know, the idea of losing someone again. What did Al say when you told him about Jai? I haven't told him yet. What made the fool full of stuff like that? <sighs> I think he's trying to punish me. At least that's what I think it feels like. But what for? I mean, you put a roof over his head, you've been over backwards for him. I think it has something to do with Phuket. You know, for leaving him behind. Yeah, it's not like his family. I mean, he can't expect you to put up with that sort of stunt and still look after him. Now, if I let him down, I promised I'd be there for him and I wasn't. And I haven't told him about the breakdown either. He knows I've lost my family and I disappeared to Australia, but that's it. Well, tell him. Tell him everything you've been through. I think that's a good idea. Jeez, I'll tell you what, if it was me, I'd lay it on the line. I just think he's been struggling enough. I mean, do you really think it's going to help me telling him that a grown man could not hack it? Well, there's no shame in seeking help. And you've sorted yourself out. I mean, you're living proof that there's light at the end of the tunnel. I just don't want him thinking it's going to happen to him. You know, it's tough enough as it is. Yeah, that's true. He could still show you a lot more respect than you're getting at the moment. I will take it step by step. I, I will tell him, I promise, but just not yet. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you up. You say hello to Morag. 
Yeah, right, well, I'll, I'll say good day to her, but I don't think she's in the mood for any sort of social chit chat. Oh, really? What's that? I think she's had a blue with Ross. She's not answering any of my calls, so I've decided to take the direct approach. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Can I come in? Yeah. <laughs> well, if this ain't no fool like an old fool. I'm really sorry, Maury. <laughs> well, you were there. I mean, the minute I mentioned taking things further, he couldn't get away fast enough. Well, it was me who suggested you say something. I should have kept my flaming nose out of it. Hey, I'm a big girl. I decided to brush the subject. There's no one else to plan but myself. <laughs> More I gets it wrong yet again. How long's that flaming racket been going on? Too long. Well, let's we'll see about that. No, no, I'll do it. You sure? Yeah. Hey, is Miranda right? Yes, yeah, she'll be fine. No thanks to that flaming Ross. Uh, I'm gonna go and talk to him. Hey, Jai. Did you mind? Why? No, I'm trying to do some work. This is not a temporary arrangement. You can rely on me. I'll see. Do you want to talk about it? No. Well, <clears throat> I think for starters, you can stop with the games. What games? Oh, well, the water torture, for example. This. So when I first came here, I was pretty messed up. But because of the people here, I found my way. And that's why I brought you in here. I want the same for you. And no matter what you think, you can't make it on your own. such a cruel trick on Mars when you know he has a fear of water. You had no idea how he would react when he went in after you. He could have drowned out there. How would you have felt then? Did you did you stop for a minute to consider that? I don't have to answer to this. You're not the only person who's lost their parents, Jai. It happens to heaps of people and it does not give you the right to treat people like dirt. My mum died in a car crash last year, so I know what I'm talking about. Please, I am at my wit's end here. Would you just ring me and let me know what the hell is going on? Thanks, love. Bye. What? Sorry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, sweetie. Oh, oh, it is so good to see you. Yeah, I miss you too. Um, is there anyone else home? No, love, it's just me. We should fix those doors. They're pretty easy to Jimmy. Yeah, well, from what I hear, I'm not the only one you've been visiting today. Yeah, that's silly. Oh, oh, if you'd have got caught, you, me, Kirsty, we'd all be in the clink by now. Speaking of which, where is she and why isn't she taking my well, call? That's kind of why I'm here. Um, she, she couldn't make it. She sent me instead. We've got to ask you another favour. A really big one. 
It's the hardest decision any parent would ever have to make. He's a little boy. So the only person we can trust. But will she risk going to jail for them? This is a massive decision that you are making. I need to know you can both live with this. Home and Away, weeknights at 7.